I really can't believe I've been driving like that for a whole week. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Man, that is a beautiful sight right there. The black LML and the LOI now that's lifted on four and a half inch BDS and some awesome wheels. I do want to show you guys something that I can't believe I've been driving around my truck like that for a whole freaking week. What had happened was when I got my drop star wheels, I really never paid attention to them. I just automatically assumed these are forged wheels, but I, I for, for some reason, just assumed that these weren't directional wheels. And if you don't know what that means, my Archon wheels are directional. So there's two different faces and they're both facing um, a certain way. So you can make it where the spokes are going that way, or you can have it going that way, like this one so that one has that face and this one's got that face and the other side is the same way spokes are pointing backwards so th these are called true directional wheels meaning there's two different faces on four wheels so that way both sides are facing the same way well for some reason i thought my drop stars were non or non-directional wheels, meaning all four of the wheels pointed the same way. Well, as it turns out, they're true directional. So the spokes on this wheel is going this way. <laughs> then this wheel should be pointing that way as well, but they're not. So what we need to do right now is, I like my spokes to point backwards. This one and the front driver's side is jacked up. So we gotta get that swapped out. And that's really all we need to do but it took me a whole week to realize that faces on both of these wheels were facing the opposite direction. So, which is pretty embarrassing. I just never really paid attention and Cam just hit my truck. I'm gonna put a jack stand underneath it too. Cause I really don't trust that jack. Well, it doesn't matter if the jack won't lift Yeah, it's, it's, it's going, up. going up. It's going up. Yeah. Cam, why the heck would you put it there? Easiest, easiest place. No, it's not. You would put it right here on the lower control arm. That's where I put it, man. They ain't gonna be there. As long as it lifts the truck up. I picked up my truck from the shop last week, and I never really paid attention. I never looked at the wheels. Um, I mean, I went and took pictures, took drone shots, all that stuff. Uh, the lip is pretty deep, so I never really looked at the face of it until a couple days ago. And when I looked at the face, yeah, I, I realized that they were facing two different directions on this side and the other side too. So that wheel's pointing that way, and that wheel is pointing that way. So I was like, hold up, hold up, that's that's not right. So yeah, these are uh, true directional wheels. So if you are looking at getting drop star forged, just remember that they are directional. What you doing over here, bud? Oh, uh, you know, it's just... You jacking it? Just jacking my truck. <laughs> that thing is so puny. All right, let's get this other wheel taken off. That is precisely 120 foot pounds of torque. No, it's called as tight as pieces. I want it. Tight as I want it. Ugh. 
All right. Drop something. You gotta go like. You gotta go like the whole inch. Which one? Uh, one was like a circle. Okay, let's do it. All right, so now since we got the you know wheels suspended, right now is a good time to just kind of check the hubs and make sure everything's good, which should have done when we were doing the lift kit. But basically, what we're looking for is whenever we shake the wheel, yeah. if that wheel moves back and forth or up and down, and you can hear kind of a clunking sound. Um, basically, what we're looking for is your hub in there, and all these suspension parts. Suspension words are hard sometimes. Uh, making sure that everything is uh, right. good. But, to, but on these trucks, on the GM trucks, to check the hub, what you want to do is you want to grab 12 and 6 and wiggle it and see if there's any kind of play. If there is play here, then that means your hub's bad. Yeah. And usually this means like your idle line pitman arm's bad too. So mine is, um, yeah, it could, it could definitely use new gearbox and new pitman arm and idle arm, which is coming next with a red gear and a redhead gearbox and kryptonite stuff. Yeah, but most everything's been replaced already. I mean, like we said, got the Cognito. We got what's up? What else? Cognito tie rods. Yep, Cognito tie rods. Basically, everything's been replaced. BDS dual steering stabilizer. Yep, right there. So now you just need that box, man. All good, all good. We're done. This is how the wheel and tire should be on this truck. Both spokes are both spokes are facing backwards. This one's facing backwards. And then we go to this side and this side, the spokes facing backwards and this one's facing backwards. So we are all good. Well, we caught the tail end of the, the hurricane here a couple days ago. Bunch of houses, not in my neighborhood, but in my town were like flooded and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm really not looking forward to having polished wheels. This is gonna be very interesting because, well, that means I gotta stay on top of polishing them. I guess it's gonna be good content as I can reach out to some detailing companies and make a couple of how-to videos. What we're gonna do now is we are going to finish up the wiring of the tail lights or the tailgate light bar. I filmed this video like, uh, what three months ago and like I, we yeah, never we never pursued it because what had happened was the plug the factory seven-way harness yeah. and the uh the splitter for my gooseneck it had really it had like corroded really badly so the connections were just terrible so i removed the uh, factory seven way actually it's right here so i gotta put the bracket back on and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and do it while he's running to go grab some more tools if any of y'all are wondering how to do a tailgate light bar wiring harness since we are going to be hard wiring this connector in so we can plug the connector for the light bar in yellow wire it's going to be your, your left turn signal so we're going to wire left to left the the wire right below that which is this green wire here the green wire goes to the green wire on here and then the white and brown i have to remember what those are but we'll get to those in just a second do, do the thing, do the thing. Come on, do the, do, do the thing. Yeah, hurry up, do the thing, man. Good gracious. So, um, <laughs> that's bright. So if y'all can't tell, um, this is McTuning's tailgate light bar. Um, this is the 60 inch. And uh, we've got everything hardwired in. Um, so, in case you're wondering. Yeah, tell them which wire is which. <laughs> The wires, sorry we're not showing you. Uh, everything's there and I'll have a more detailed video on how to install it on my channel if y'all wanna see that. But the yellow wire goes to the yellow wire. The green wire goes to the green wire. Um, that's for your left and right blinker. The black wire is your ground and that is the brown wire. And then the white wire is going to go to the running light wire, which should be the left of the red wire which is your positive on your your trailer hitch connector there will be a diagram here it's kind of hard to see let's see it's 
a little diagram there. And there we go. So the positive wire, um, the one right above that is for your running lights. And that's the one that you're gonna use for the white wire. That way, whenever you do your clicker, everything works. Um, so on this truck here, the reverse lights stay on and they are super bright. My truck, I also have the McTuning light bar. Um, it does a little bit different, so it doesn't keep the reverse lights on. That's my hazards. So whenever I click mine, the yellow light will blink once and then it'll go off, but they are super bright. So if you don't have one, make sure to go check out McTuning and get you a light bar. So that way, whenever you do back up or do anything, they'll be able to see you. have a slight problem <laughs> whenever I turn on my right turn signal the tail light works or the tailgate works but it does not register on the tailgate light bar and our, our connections are good because what we tried last time was we actually like went straight into the the, the plug yeah and it still didn't register on the right so we're not really sure what would cause this so if anybody has any idea uh, I mean, it wouldn't be the fuse because if it was, then the tail light itself wouldn't work, I don't think. So if you guys have any ideas or if you've experienced anything like that, just leave a comment below uh, because I want my yeah. tailgate light. Well, we'll, do, we'll, we'll show you real quick. So whenever we turn on the hazards, um, like I showed you on my truck, that gum and I locked it. <laughs> Let me grab the keys. Let me unlock it again for you. So now you can see. All right, so... Whenever we do the hazards, it's supposed to have the left and right, you know, the yellow part blinking. But instead, well, I don't know if you can see it over the white, but you get this funky red flash. You should get the yellow strobe. That's what it should look like. Both sides should be doing it as well when you're doing the hazards. But then when we do the left, sorry, the left is working. Whenever we do the right, starts to hyper flash and so we get you know <laughs> could it be the hyper flash that's causing it maybe i don't know but the whole side of the truck hyper flashes and then we have nothing like so whenever he bought this truck we think it may have been rewired oh there's no doubt it's yeah it's, there's no doubt but like super crazy hyper flash right now so if i turn that off and i do the hazards again instead of doing the sequential yellow it actually is oh it's doing it now <laughs> Well, now it's working, yeah. but that's what it should be doing on both sides. So there's obviously something wrong. It's not anything wrong with the light bar. McTunie's light bar is sick. This truck's just got some demons. Holy crap, that's still really bright, bro. Yeah. I do notice it's a little crooked. It's literally one LED off. <laughs> one LED off from being perfectly centered. Oh, well, it'll just be a little thing that we know. That is really but yeah, bright. I'm pretty sure that you know that you're turning left. It's when you're turning oh, yeah. right. Yeah, I, I think people definitely can see me turning left. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm turning left. <laughs> <laughs> well, or or either that or I'm backing up. Or I have my hazards on, and that people think I'm turning left because they only see that and not the actual tail light. Yeah. So, hopefully, we'll get that figured out sooner or later. Um, we've got a lot to figure out, but uh. Hopefully with all that, we'll get it figured out soon. We'll probably just have to dig through all the wiring. But if any of y'all, like he said, if any of y'all know, leave it down in the comments and uh, let us know what we can check.